On a clear day, you can stand in southern Spain and see Africa across the water. At its most narrow point, the Strait of Gibraltar is only 13 kilometers wide. In theory, Europe and Africa are close enough to be joined by a single bridge, a structure that would connect two continents, linking cultures, economies, and people like never before. But despite decades of proposals and modern engineering breakthroughs, no such bridge exists. So why has humanity never built one of the most ambitious connections in history is the mystery will crack today. The promise of a continental bridge. The Strait of Gibraltar has always been one of the most important gateways on Earth. To its north lies Spain and the Mediterranean Sea. To the south, Morocco and the Atlantic Ocean. Whoever controls this passage controls trade between the Mediterranean world and the open oceans. The idea of linking Europe and Africa with a permanent structure has been around for centuries. Engineers and visionaries have all imagined a bridge that stretches from Spain to Morocco or Gibraltar to Quetta. On paper, the payoff would be enormous. A bridge that connects two continents directly, opening road and rail networks from Lisbon to Lagos, from Madrid to Marrakesh. Trade would flow, tourism would bloom, and symbolically, it would represent a new era of unity between Europe and Africa. But the dream has remained only on paper. To understand and why we have to look at the geography, geology, and politics of this narrow but formidable stretch of water. The Strait of Gibraltar Upon first glance, the Strait of Gibraltar seems to be perfect for a bridge. Its most narrow span is between Spain and Morocco and only 13 kilometers, less than the distance of many bridges that have already been built. One bridge between Denmark and Sweden is nearly 8 kilometers, and others across spans of land can get up to 55 kilometers. By comparison, Gibraltar's crossing looks easy. But width is just one factor. The strait is also one of the busiest waterways in the world. More than 100,000 ships pass through there every single year. Oil tankers, cargo vessels, military fleets all converge in this narrow channel. A bridge would have to allow massive ships to pass beneath it, raising its design height to extraordinary levels, and the water is not calm. The strait connects the Atlantic Ocean to the the Mediterranean Sea with currents that collide in unpredictable ways. Depth and Geology The greatest challenge is what lies beneath the waves. The Strait of Gibraltar is deep, much more than most straits that are crossed by bridges. At its most narrow point, it plunges more than 300 meters. Building foundations at such a depth is far beyond the limits of conventional engineering. Most long-span bridges today are anchored in seabeds that are no deeper than 50 to 70 meters. One such bridge in Japan, the longest suspension bridge in the world, crosses waters only 60 meters deep. Gibraltar's 300 meters would require towers taller than any ever built, anchored in seabeds that are geologically unstable. The region lies near the boundary between Eurasian and African tectonic plates. Earthquakes are common, and designing a bridge to survive the seismic activity in deep water currents makes the project almost impossible. Winds and and weather. Above the water, the Strait of Gibraltar is shaped by powerful winds that funnel through the gap between Europe and Africa and can reach gale force. These winds last for days, reducing visibility and whipping dangerous waves. Any bridge deck would need to be able to withstand the constant lateral pressure from winds stronger than those faced by most bridges in the world. Engineers have learned to design wind-resistant structures after disasters like the Tacoma Narrows bridge collapse in 1940, but Gibraltar's conditions would push designs to their limits. Suspension cables and towers exposed to these winds would face stresses rarely seen in civil engineering. Shipping lanes and navigation. Unlike bridges over smaller straits, Gibraltar is a choke point for international shipping. More than 300 ships pass through on an average day. Tankers carrying Middle Eastern oil to Europe, freighters loaded with Asian goods for Atlantic ports, and naval fleets all converge on this location. A bridge would need enormous clearance, far more than the Golden Gate Bridge or the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, to allow super tankers and aircraft carriers to pass beneath. Building towers high enough and spans long enough to achieve this clearance adds another layer of difficulty. And if clearance were insufficient, shipping could be disrupted, threatening global trade. Alternatives The Gibraltar Tunnel Because of these 
these challenges, engineers have often proposed a tunnel instead of a bridge. A Gibraltar tunnel similar to the Channel Tunnel between England and France has been studied repeatedly since the 1970s. Spain and Morocco signed agreements with feasibility studies conducted by international teams. The tunnel idea would run rails under the strait, connecting high-speed networks from Madrid into Morocco's growing rail system. But here, geology interferes. A straight seabed is riddled with fault lines and unstable rock. Water pressure at 300 meters depth is crushing, and soft sediments make tunneling dangerous. The Channel Tunnel is 50 kilometers long, running under seabeds only 40 meters below sea level. A Gibraltar Tunnel would face six times the pressure, and so far, no design has proven feasible at a reasonable cost. Historical Attempts and Studies The idea of linking Europe and Africa dates back centuries. In 1869, after the success of the Suez Canal, Spanish engineers floated the idea of a Gibraltar crossing. In the 20th century, as bridge technology advanced, proposals would re-emerge. Franco's government in Spain studied plans during the 30s and 40s, and later, Spain and Morocco would ask the United Nations to evaluate a possible link. Studies would suggest that a suspension bridge would be impossible due to depth, and a tunnel would be prohibitively expensive. By the 90s, the governments agreed to focus on a tunnel Tunnel, but progress stalled due to cost and technical uncertainty. Today, the idea occasionally resurfaces in political speeches, but no construction has begun. Economic and political barriers. Even if engineering problems were solved, money remains a major obstacle. The Channel Tunnel cost more than $9 billion in the 1990s, equivalent to over $20 billion today. A Gibraltar Tunnel or bridge would cost far more, possibly over 100 billion. And for countries facing other economic pressures, the price tag is just too difficult to justify. Politics play a role. Spain and Morocco have complex relations, disputes over immigration, fishing rights, and certain enclaves. Cooperation on such a monumental project would require long-term political trust. The European Union could help fund it, but concerns about migration flows from Africa to Europe make the idea politically sensitive. Environmental Concerns A bridge or tunnel across Gibraltar would alter the ecosystems. The strait is home to whales, dolphins, and unique marine life, and construction could disrupt migration patterns, noise could interfere with communication amongst marine mammals, and pollution risks would increase. Environmental groups have opposed large-scale infrastructure projects in the region for just these reasons. In an era where climate and biodiversity are global priorities, a massive bridge between continents faces stronger opposition than ever before. Symbolism and Reality A bridge between Europe and Africa would be more than concrete and steel. It would symbolize unity between two continents historically divided by colonialism, migration, and economic inequality. Advocates would argue it could transform relations, making movement and trade easier than ever before. But symbolism does not outweigh reality. Engineering limits, financial costs, political risks, and environmental impacts all combined to block the project. While humanity has built bridges longer and tunnels deeper, the Strait of Gibraltar presents a unique combination of all possible obstacles at once. Attempts and Abandonment Over the decades, committees, feasibility studies, and political declarations have kept the dream alive, but each attempt ends in the same conclusion. Not now, not yet. The dream remains attractive, especially during moments of political optimism. But as of today, no construction has begun. Ships still cross the strait daily, ferries still connect certain land masses, and the vision of driving across a bridge between Europe and Africa remains unrealized. So then, why is there no bridge between Europe and Africa? Because the Strait of Gibraltar combines impossible depth, violent winds, heavy shipping, unstable geology, and immense political and economic challenges. On the map, 13 kilometers may look easy to cross, when in reality, it's one of the most difficult places on Earth to build a permanent link. Humanity has spanned wider gaps and dug longer tunnels, but here, nature and politics collide to say no. Until technology, funding, and cooperation align, Europe and Africa will remain separated by the Strait of Gibraltar. The world is full of mysteries, and we're here to crack them. Thanks for watching World Cracked. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel, and that 
you leave a like on this video so that you never miss another great video like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.